Welcome to the Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. I saw a really good question on Quora today I thought I'd tackle. It's someone who's been following me for a long time. Firstly, I want to say I appreciate all those who have read my posts, watched my videos, and taken my courses. I sincerely thank you for that. Here's the question. You constantly stress the need for SQL to succeed in ML interviews and as an ML engineer after one has secured the job. If someone has used it for their personal or research projects, I reckon the person will know SQL quite well. Considering this, can't motivated undergraduates in computer science gain working knowledge of SQL and Python, clear the interview, and secure a lucrative job? Why then do you stress the need of having several years of experience to get even an entry-level role? All right, this is a multi-part question, so let's break it down. I constantly stress the need to know SQL because it's a requirement on almost every machine learning role. Here, take a look. This one throws people off because the basics of SQL are very easy. Not only that, most data analysts and machine learning engineers will only need to know how to retrieve the data or read the data. This simplifies it further. Here's the problem. Data is housed in tables, not a table. Often the data you need is going to be housed in many tables. How long is it going to take you to create a join to pull together all the data you need for a model? Here's some code that's similar to something I authored to pull together some data for a problem I was working on. I had to remove all the company info, so this code comes from a training database. The code is called a common table expression, but that's irrelevant for our purposes here. The question to you is, how long as a novice is it going to take you to write this? Honestly, just focus on the select statements. The lesson here is that the very basics of SQL are easy. The second you move beyond the very basics, not so much. If you can't author the code to create your model, you failed at the very first step of the machine learning pipeline. What comfort level do you think I have in your abilities when you can't do the very first thing I ask you to do? Let's tackle the next part of the question. Why do you stress upon the need to have several years of experience before taking a job? The answer is simple. I stress it because it's what the real world asks from you. Let's head over to my favorite job board, Indeed, and type in entry-level machine learning engineer. We get around 200 results. Did you notice the first three jobs? Right, they are for machine learning roles. Just for fun, let's assume every one of those roles is truly an entry-level role for a machine learning engineer. All right, now let's remove entry-level and see what we get. Just shy of 40,000 jobs. Again, for shits and giggles, there are 229 entry-level roles out of 40,000. What do you think your chances of getting one of those jobs are? Contrary to popular belief, I don't just make this shit up. It's based on research and real data. If you believe you can graduate from any college and get an entry-level role in the space, then knock yourself out. Just report back here and let us know how that worked out for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and sub, and have a great day.